Jill came by to work out a little visit uh, with Edmund for us, but uh, she's worried about your mother's back. Well, how is Ma? Well, you know how these could go. They're uh, unpredictable. Uh, look, darling, we'd love a visit with Edmund, so why don't we call you on the phone tomorrow? And you never know. Maeve's back may just snap back. Okay. <laughs> I gotta return these to Kevin. Excuse me. I never had a chance to congratulate you on the election. Thank you. Not, not that I didn't think you would win or that you, you deserve to. I appreciate that. We all worked very hard. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I'm, uh, I'm late getting back to the office. Will you tell May that uh, I hope her back is better, all right? Well, Jill, if you have another moment... No, I don't really. I understand the adoption's going through. You know, I, I can't assume that you were eavesdropping, so I, I guess you must have heard that from the judge. That's right. So then it was Senator Frank Ryan who delayed the proceedings. We kind of figured that one out. I assumed you would. Tell me something, Frank, why? Were you trying to be vindictive? Were you striking out at the two of us at this late date? Or if you were just trying to hurt me, you, you managed that very nicely. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was simply buying some time for my son. What do you mean? Jill, you could be making the biggest mistake of your life next to marrying Seneca if you give him any kind of legal hold on Edmund. Say something happens. What if the marriage doesn't work? Then Edmund will be caught between the two of you. That's what you told the judge? That it wasn't going to work? Oh, yeah. Senator Frank Ryan says it's not going to work. You know, you are so incredibly vindictive and spiteful. I think if anyone's being spiteful, it's you, Jill. Otherwise, why such a big hurry? <laughs> you know, I have really forgotten the extent of your ego. You really believe that every decision that I make involves you? That I wasn't being positive about Edmund, I was being negative to you because I wanted to hurt you? Edmund is still my son. Father's rights. They used to include being involved in any major decision. Jill, you didn't even tell me that you were going to hand Edmund over to Seneca. I was not legally required to tell you anything. Oh. In fact, I thought you'd be grateful because I kept your name out of it. I mean, all the risks I'm more concerned about the risks to Edmund. The risks of, of having a father that loves him who's there for The him? risk of having a man who will run his life Edmund needs a father, yes. A father, Jill, not a bully. I don't know, maybe that's what you want after all. What? Yeah, it makes sense. The whole time we were going round and round about it, father's rights, the whole time, all the plans we made for us, and you just wouldn't let it happen. I wouldn't. You, you and your so-called liberation. A father figure is what you wanted then, it's what you want now. You know, one of the most liberating things about breaking up with you is that I don't have to stand here and listen to your analysis of my behavior. Excuse me. Julian, I normally wouldn't interrupt your fantasies, except when they concern, when they affect the future of my son. Don't you worry about your son. It's a little late for that. Oh, Frank, I really hope you find everything that you want in Washington. She hasn't changed. She's as self-destructive as ever. But why, God, does she have to bring Edmund down with her?